Hi. What I have today is a new video showing and blowing my new design of train horns. This is a slightly different design than I used to have. Um, I'm going to be selling books on eBay again of the new design. This is a brand new design, um, a little more compact, a little easier to build, um, less parts. That's a good thing is there's less parts to buy um, and hopefully easier to find parts. A few people had emailed me and said that they were having a hard time finding some of the other fittings that I had. So this is a little bit easier design, hopefully easier to find the parts also. This is a five bell design that I just made, and this one I'm going to mount permanently on my golf cart. So this will be mine, and uh, I haven't had a chance to try it out on the half inch air, or the five eighths inch airline, but we'll give it a try here after I get shots of these three bell horns blowing and we'll see how they sound. But I'll show you a little closer detail on the changes that I've made. What I've done is I've used different reducer fittings. Uh, it's a slightly more compact reducer fitting in the back on this one. Also on this three bell one that I just built. I'm using air lines that go to the bells themselves or to the horn bodies. So I have a common manifold back here and they just have barbed nipples that stick out and they're nylon barbed nipples that stick out. I drilled holes into that half inch pipe and just threaded them in, put a good amount of silicone around them so that they'd stay put and not leak and then just run plastic airlines up to the horns and you got another barb nipple up there that they connect into and that takes place of the 3 8 inch steel lines. I used to have steel pipe sticking out that threaded into there and that takes the place of the steel pipe. But then you lose your mount so what I did is I hooked metal mounts on the back side of the horn body and those hold the horn. These here are just L brackets and they're mounted to a angle aluminum bracket that I had on my golf cart already that I've been mounting everything on. And I use the same air system that I had been using. These are two five gallon tanks connected together with T fittings, hose in between, and main 5 8 inch hose runs up goes up to my half inch ball valve then there's a half inch threaded pipe into that that has uh, nipples with the uh, air lines coming out of that manifold and just goes up to the horns so like I say this is a little easier to build design um, if you look on eBay and you look under locomotive horns is the easiest way to find it also under train horns, you can look under train horns and you'll find my plans that I'm going to be selling on uh, eBay for this design. Hopefully this will be my last design change, um, but I think it's a better change. Uh, the horns still sound really nice, they've got a good loud tone to them and uh, they work real well. Here's a little better look at the five bell. Now the five bell I have hooked up with the steel lines flip them around here for you. These are hooked up with a steel half inch line on the bottom, half inch T's, and then it goes to a 3 8 inch into the bottom and it's threaded right into the bottom of the horn body. And on these I wanted to cut the air down just a little bit. They don't need a 3 8 inch line for one horn so I put a, a 3 8 inch wood plug in the bottom of them about that long and then I just took a quarter inch um, drill bit and drilled the dowel out with a quarter inch line coming out of it and they still get plenty of air that's more than enough air for these and it holds back the air just a little bit so you aren't wasting so much air because they really don't need that much so anyway we'll set up back here I've got the three bells hooked up all set up back here. 
I'll give them a couple blasts. Fifteen feet away right now. As you can see, they vibrate pretty good. They blew my funnel off the end. I have to glue those on yet. 